Hello, this is Dr. Katsaros, and in today's video, I will talk about how stem cells derived from liposuction are useful, not just for cosmetic surgery, but in the treatment of osteoarthritis and other inflammatory conditions. When we perform liposuction, we actually harvest a clumpy mixture of fat cells as well as other specialized cells, which are closely adherent to each other and form a lumpy mixture, which is called the lipoaspirate. The initial lipoaspirate is not clinically useful because it is very lumpy and its consistency is uh, similar to chili. And because of that, it's, uh, we can't uh, uh, inject it through any needle because it's too thick. And also the cells are adherent to each other and also uh, other waste products which are not needed. If all we do is liposuction only, the lipoaspirate is treated as waste and discarded. However, as shown in the image here, the lipoaspirate can be processed to yield very useful cells and growth factors. The first step is to treat the lipoaspirate with either enzymes or mechanical means to create a more homogeneous mixture of cells, which is then centrifuged to yield four layers or fractions. The top layer is waste and is discarded, but the bottom three layers or fractions are very useful. The fat layer can be harvested and processed and micronized into microfat globules of about 2.4 millimeters, which is ideal for fat transfer to the breast or the buttock. In this case here, the patient's own fat was harvested, washed and micronized to microfat globules of about 2.4 millimeters and transferred to her breast, so no implants were required. In the case shown here, the Brazilian but transfer or fat transfer to the buttock was performed, transferring macro fat to the buttock. Since liposuction alone does not tighten the skin, Renuvion's J plasma was also used here to contour the waistline as can be seen here. Fat can be micronized further to micro fat or even nano fat. Micro fat is micronized to 1.2 millimeters, which is ideal for fat transfer to the face such as the cheeks, the temples, the earlobes, and it can also be used for volume replacement of uh, wasted hands. Microfat can be micronized to nanofat, which is less than 1.2 millimeters. We micronize nanofat to 0.04 millimeters for nanofat injections to the hollow above the eyes uh, as lip fillers or for filling very fine wrinkles. The patient shown here had micro fat to her cheeks and the hollow above her chin. She also had 0.04 millimeter nano fat injected to the hollow of the eyes. The lowest layer or fraction is called the stromal vascular fraction or SVF. It contains mesenchymal stem cells which are regenerative cells. They facilitate tissue regeneration by differentiating into local cell types and secreting growth factors and cytokines. Mesenchymal stem cells themselves do not add a lot of volume. Fat cells add the volume. However, mixing fat cells with mesenchymal cells and stem cells, uh, as well as soluble fraction, dramatically increases the take rate. One clinical trial showed that stromal vascular fraction enriched fat had a survival rate of 77.6%, versus only 56.2% for standard fat grafting after six months. This demonstrated that a robust advantage occurs when mixing fat with stromal vascular fraction. About five years ago, the patient shown here had micro fat mixed with his stromal vascular fraction and soluble fraction to fill his permanent forehead wrinkles. The tissue graft to his forehead established its own blood supply and his forehead remains wrinkle free today. The stromal vascular fraction has other useful cells including fibroblasts that produce collagen which improves elasticity and strength of facial skin. In addition, the SVF layer or stromal vascular fraction has immune cells such as T cells and macrophages which is important for immune modulation. Although I had used liposuction derived mesenchymal cells and other cells of the stromal vascular fraction mixed with fat cells for cosmetic purposes for over 15 years, 
I had never used the SVF for pathologic conditions such as severe osteoarthritis until May 6 of 2019 when a patient, Maria, pre presented for macrofat transfer to the buttock for a BBL procedure as well as microfat transfer to her face. What was unusual in this case was that Maria had severe osteoarthritis of her right knee and was scheduled for a total knee replacement three months later in August of 2019. During the preoperative period when I was taking before pictures, I noticed that Maria could not bear any weight on her right knee while standing. In fact, she had to support her weight with her hands on the chair for our preoperative pictures. So I asked her, what are you doing here? I mean, shouldn't you be taking care of your knee first? I mean, shouldn't you do, do that before this cosmetic procedure? And she said, yes, but she can only do it in August because uh, that's when she had time off from work for the physical therapy that would be required. So since I was going to obtain stromal vascular fraction for the fat transfer to her face, as well as the Brazilian fat transfer, I asked her if she wanted me to inject the stromal vascular fraction into her right knee to see if it would help. The idea here is that since uh, cells from the stromal vascular fraction include stem cells as well as anti-inflammatory cells, it could help her osteoarthritic knee. So when Maria came for her three-day post-operative visit, I didn't know what to expect as far as her right knee was concerned and I was pretty shocked to see that she was actually walking with no assistance. This video is the three-day post-operative visit with Maria. Okay, Maria, so tell, tell me, uh, you've, uh, uh, we did a stem cell yes. uh, injection of your right knee, and, uh, and I see there's the right knee in your... Right there. <laughs> would you have been able to do that before, uh, before your stem cell surgery? No, no. And I, ha I was not able to do that. Um, I could not balance on it at all or stand on it. And um, now, like I was saying, a comfortable position where I'm, I'm sitting down or I want to watch TV is like this, where I'm fully on my knees. And I can really lean on my knee and get up by myself where I needed two people to help me before. So they had you, you had uh, they had you ready for total knee replacement. Yes, total knee replacement, and I don't see that happening. <laughs> wow, and you've had injections as well. Uh, you had two meniscus surgeries before, Correct. and so that's and you had hardly any cartilage in there anymore. They said, Correct. and then you've also had uh, after the uh, two meniscus surgeries, you had a couple of steroid injections that didn't help at all. Correct. And then you had a, a what the gel, gel injection. injections that helped minimal, but not to this extent. Since Maria lived out of state and was far away from our office, her next scheduled visit was five and a half weeks later, and that visit is shown here. Okay, so Mary, we're now five and a half weeks right after right. we did a Brazilian fat transfer to the cheeks, but the real interesting thing is we did stem cells to the right knee. Correct. Tell me how you <laughs> and I think you said, and you were, by the way, you were still scheduled for that knee replacement. Correct. I was going to have my knee replacement on August, in August, um, before I had my surgery, I could barely walk. And I yeah. I not apply pressure. I couldn't even get on the um, operating bed. Right. Without assistance. Right. We had to help you get up there. Right. And you said something about you, uh, you did what? A... I walked of 5k <laughs> which is 3.1 miles this past saturday and i feel amazing didn't run it but i walked i walked without assistance nobody helped me i kept a good pace and i feel re, re I, I don't like my, i got my life back yeah and um this is the knee and i'm also wearing heels which has been a while <laughs> that's <laughs> incredible <I've> <laughs> Since Maria, I have performed stromal vascular transfers to severely arthritic knees and hip joints with significant improvement in about 80% of cases. The cases that I have selected so far have been patients who have required total joint replacements, so they are the most advanced cases of osteoarthritis. Some of the patients that I have injected the stromal vascular fraction are very poor candidates for surgery due to age, obesity, diabetes, and other multiple medical problems. Since Maria, 
Stromal vascular fraction injections have been frequently studied and used for osteoarthritis of the knees and other joints. Clinical research is ongoing for stromal vascular fraction based therapy in hair restoration, wound healing, uh, granulation, neovascularization, and even stroke patients. It is important to note that Medicare and private insurance companies do not cover stromal vascular fraction injections at this time because they consider the treatment experimental. If you would like more information on stem cell therapy, stromal vascular fraction injections, or other regenerative treatments such as platelet-rich plasma, laser resurfacing, and prescription anti-aging medication, call for your free consultation at the phone number shown here. Thank you.